I think there's a lot of wrestlers now that owe a lot to you if they're under six feet or they only weigh 215 pounds or whatever. I feel like you intentionally didn't wrestle as a smaller guy. Is that something you like made a point to do at the start of your career? Well, it's just the way I wrestled because I trained in Calgary. So there's no small guys in Calgary, but he fucking works hard and fights. If you look at anybody that came out of the Calgary system, anybody, there was always a little bit of an extra, you know, viciousness to you. And then starting in Japan so young, I was my first tour of Japan, I was 20 years old. You know, and they beat the fuck out of you there. And if you, you the only way they have them stop you beating the shit out of you is to, is to beat them up back. Huh. I remember my very first night in FMW, October of 1991. So I was 20 years old. Um, first of all, I remember Lan I was there with Lance Storm and he was so disappointed because we show up there. And he's like, we're not even on the show tonight. I'm like, show tonight. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, go look at the card. And so I looked at the card. I started at the bottom. And then looking through, like, fuck, we're not there. And I see the top. And it was like Onita and a couple guys against Kleiss and Runtz, which is Chris and Lance. And I said, that's us there, Kleiss and Runtz. He was disappointed. He couldn't read the names. I was disappointed because I didn't think we were on the show. And I was, we're in the fucking main event. So we're in the main event of this show. And FMW was known as being like a real brawling company before that was a thing, right? Um, and what they would do is they would bring in martial arts guys. So there was a guy there named Weda who was a kickboxing champion. And he looked every ounce of it. Ears were fucked up, no front teeth, just really ugly. Like, looks like he should have been on the opposing team in slap shot at the end, you know? <laughs> and so he's out there and dude, this guy is just kicking the shit out of me. I was like, fuck, this guy's gonna kill me. And I got so mad and FW, you can do whatever you wanted. He kicked me in the fucking face. I went to the floor, I grabbed a chair, I came in and I hit him as hard as I could over the head with the chair. And I remember he looked at me kind of like, why'd you do that? He couldn't speak any English, but he had that look on his face. And I was like, motherfucker, you want to kick me in the fucking face again? I don't know how old this guy was. He could have been 30, could have been 50, but he was very light with me after that. And that's wow. like, oh, okay. So if someone starts taking advantage, you just fucking beat them up back huh. and they'll back off. And so I always kind of had that into it as well. And so, yeah, I never worked as a smaller guy because when I started back in the States again, especially in WCW into WWE, everybody was so big. If you don't fight like a giant, it's not going to look believable. If I don't go in there with Undertaker and kick his fucking ass, dudes, you know, it's legit. Kane, six foot eight, six foot nine, big show, seven feet. You know, Hunter, six four. Steve is six four. Rock is six four. I'm five foot 11. If I don't fight up to that level, I'm not going to be working with those guys. There's this great story of you legitimately getting in Brock Lesnar's face. And I, I can't believe that anyone would want to get in Brock Lesnar's face. You just, you didn't back down. No, the, the switch flipped and I was like, fuck it, I don't care. I remember just looking, looking at him and it's like, if he hits me, I'm going to bite his nose off. <laughs> and he would have killed me. Like, thankfully, we didn't get in a fight. But that was Who my- Who broke that, that up? What's that? Who broke the fight up? Um... A couple of people tried to, and we told both to fuck off. And finally, Vince made us stop. <laughs> You're not going to tell him he's going to fire off. us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Once again, I mean, it's just things that happen when you get worked up, and and Man. there's there's a long story behind it. But I mean, nothing but respect for Brock. But I remember thinking like, he's going to kill me, but I'm going to bite his fucking nose off. Like that's what he's going to go home with. I'll be dead or in the hospital or broken face. He's not going to have a nose. <laughs> so, <laughs> thankfully, he did get broke broken up. Cause.